वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल लुकिंग एट इम्पोर्टेंट हेडलाइन फ्रॉम द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर फॉर फर्स्ट मार्च ऑन द फ्रंट पेज यू हैव यूएस स्ट्राइक्स डील विद तालिबान टू एंड एटीन ईयर लॉन्ग अफगान वॉर सो नाउ यूएस एंड तालिबान हैव साइंड अ डील इन दोहा द कैपिटल ऑफ कतर एंड दिस कुड पेव द वे फॉर फुल विद्रॉवल ऑफ फॉरन सोल्जर्स फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान ओवर द नेक्स्ट फोर्टीन मंथ्स नाउ सो एटीन ईयर लॉन्ग अफगान वॉर वुड फाइनली कम टू एन एंड so this agreement creates a path for us to gradually pull out pull out of its longest war which many feel that the talks scheduled to take place between afghan side should be much more complicated could be much more complicated because this is between us and taliban now next step would be talks between taliban and the afghan government inter means intra afghan talks so because earlier before us invaded or us attacked afghanistan Taliban was in power. It had it had its government in place. So now the new Afghan government is not accepted by Taliban. So talks between Taliban and Afghanistan government presently under uh, under its Ashraf Ghani, the Afghan president. So these talks would take place. Then this is Kejriwal urges riot affected families to return home. so two national human rights commission teams have been set up to probe delhi violence and uh, in these incendiary slogans which were raised by bjp leaders shoot the traitors during the recent election campaign were shouted at one of the busiest stations of the delhi metro network and during a peace march in the center of the city so chief minister arvind kejriwal issued an appeal to displaced residents to return to their home while you know this has taken place So here you can see NHRC distributed two fact-finding teams to investigate cases of communal violence. Forty-two people have been killed and more than two hundred injured. On page five, you have Pakistani pilgrims in Ajmer for tours after two years. So India had not granted visas to Pakistani citizens in 2018 and 2019 amid tensions between the neighbors. and now a delegation of 212 pilgrims from pakistan have arrived in ajmer for attending the 808th urs urs means death anniversary of sufi saint khwaja moinuddin chishti at the historic dargah in ajmer in rajasthan on page 8 you have bringing back cheetahs will be a big challenge so days after the supreme court green lighted the introduction of cheetahs in india top scientists as such say that saving this extinct species uh no it will will be a big challenge so cheetahs have been in the limelight because reintroduction of any species back into nature is a challenge just like moon mission or mission to mars is what they say so national tiger conservation authority has been given a nod by the supreme court now to reintroduce african cheetahs nearly 10 years after the plea was made so india had cheetahs but they went extinct so now we are reintroducing them from africa from namibia on page 9 you have foreigners passport not must for citizenship high court so calcutta high court has ruled that foreigners could apply for indian citizenship even without a valid passport from the country of their origin if they could furnish detailed reasons for non furnishing of passports so this is the ruling which has come down. on page 10 you have jammu and kashmir uses 2011 data for delimitation so delimitation exercise is going on in jammu and kashmir that is uh, readjustment of boundaries of constituencies so for this uh, in the two new union territories jammu and kashmir it will be taking place on the basis of 2001 11 census while in other states where it has been carried out it has been carried out on the basis of 2001 census so this is a discrepancy highlighted on international page you have this complete coverage on us afghan war and how it is going to end now with uh, us taliban peace deal then you have washington state sees first virus death in us so more than 60 have been infected uh, infected by coronavirus covid-19 in usa and now the first death has been confirmed on us side so the virus has spread across the globe and in china it has ebbed but we can see in usa now 
the first death has taken place. On business page, you have Bharti Airtel deposits additional 8,004 crores in adjusted gross revenue dues. So, total payment now is 18,004 crores and telecom company claims compli it has complied with the court order. So, court had asked it to make the payment as such. So, total payment has now been made earlier at 10,000 crores and now 8,004 crores. Airtel has, Bharti Airtel has done its payment. It claims it has complied with the order. Court had, you know, no, raised concerns because uh, it said contempt of court is taking place when the telecom companies do not adhere to the court order. And even the telecom secretary in the government also allows them to be, you know, to be lenient, allows to, you know, to be lenient to them. So that was also pulled up. Then on Sundays, you have this FAQ coverage. So here are three important issues over the week are covered. So first one is, why is COVID-19 not a pandemic yet? So this is regarding the coronavirus. So it says, what is the World Health Organization stand on the outbreak? Have most countries been able to check the spread of coronavirus? So this is a complete story so far about coronavirus disease, which is highlighted. So it is, uh, it is feared that World Health Organization is downplaying the seriousness of the situation. But who World Health Organization denies this? It says this virus has pandemic potential and uh, World Health Organization is working with various countries. And this is NPR 2020 skits. So it just talks about why Bihar government said it will stick to 2010 manual for updating population register. So what's the difference and why has this decision been taken? And we have already discussed this earlier. We know that it is the parents details being asked in the new format. It requires residents to disclose their mother tongue and the places and, and dates of births of their parents. And this is how serious is Germany's far right problem. So why is the growing popularity of FB, the political party here, you know, it's, it's focus on refugees. It works against the refugees. Why is this a cause of concern and how is Germany's right wing far right as such, how serious is that a problem? Then on Sundays, you also have science and technology coverage. So here the first article is, presence of cholestin resistant bacteria of food origin in the gut is cause for worry. So cholestin is the last resort antibiotic used to treat highly drug resistant bacterial infections. So a small study has been done and this bacteria in food origin in the gut has been found. Then this is zebra fish reveal how to run faster. So this is the tiny freshwater fish zebra fish which is helping researchers now understand the neural mechanism involved in fast movement. So fish needs to swim the battle to battle the drift of the streams. And how do these, in, how do they do this has intrigued researchers. Then this is a lab in Shanghai that has first sequenced coronavirus genome and now it has been shut down. Then on Sundays, you also have dispatches coverage where important international issues are covered. So this is regarding Brazil, protests in Brazil. So the right-wing government of Brazil to under Bolsonaro, Jair Bolsonaro, has called on people to take to streets to defend him as his critics plan multiple rallies. So the pro and anti rallies are taking place in Brazil as well. Jair Bolsonaro is also accused of being behind the huge for huge fires in amazon forests which cleared tracts of land so that it can be used for economic activity and this is japan's diamond princess fiasco so this is regarding this cruise ship of japan where coronavirus infections took place and all the all aboard have been affected so the abe government shinzo abe the prime minister of uh, japan his handling of this crisis infections is drawing criticism and here you can see 2020 is actually the year of olympic games tokyo olympics and in this times we have seen coronavirus hitting the country and this is a festival of ideas in lahore so this is regarding lahore literary festival and this is some respite in the Indo-Sri Lankan 
fisheries conflict so india and sri lanka have always fought for fishes fishing the number of indian trawlers entering lankan waters have fallen now because new laws have been passed so this has given some despite to the conflict so this is it for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you